Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that the straight line 2x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 is the tangent to the circle at 1 1. The radius of the circle is root 13. Find the equations of the circles. Now before starting the solution of this question we should know our result. And that is for the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and a point p x1 y1 the distance of the point p from the given line that is this line is log of ax1 plus by1 plus c whole upon square root of a square plus b square. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Let the equation of the circle b x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. And its center c is minus g minus f. Now if it is given in the question that the straight line, that is this line, is the tangent to the circle at 1, 1. Since this circle passes through the point 1, 1, so we have, now substituting x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 1 here, we get 1 plus 1 plus 2g plus 2f plus c is equal to 0. This implies 2g plus 2f plus c is equal to minus 2. Now, the equation tangent to the circle that is this circle which is given by equation number 1 at the point 1 1 is 2x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now let us name this equation as equation number 2. Now the slope of the line which is given by equation number 2 is equal to minus coefficient of x which is 2 over coefficient of y which is minus 3. So this is equal to 2 by 3. Now it is also given that the radius of the circle is root 13. Now we know that tangent is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Now given radius is equal to root 13 which means the length of the perpendicular from the center which is minus 2 minus f Tangent 
Now we have to find the length of the perpendicular from the center C to this tangent. Now using this result, which is given in the key idea, now let C minus C minus F be the point X1, Y1 and this be a line. And we have to find the distance of this point to this line. So the distance is equal to log of 2 into minus c minus 3 into minus f plus 1 whole thing square root 2 square plus minus 3 square which is equal to log of minus 2g plus 3f plus 1 whole upon square root of 2 square is 4 and minus 3 square is 9 and 4 plus 9 is 30. So this implies log of minus 2g plus 3f plus 1 whole upon root 13 is equal to root 13 which further implies plus minus minus 2g plus 3f plus 1 whole upon root 13 is equal to root 13 which further implies on cross multiplying minus 2g plus 3f plus 1 is equal to plus minus 13 which implies minus 2g plus 3f plus 1 is equal to plus 13 and minus 2g plus 3f plus 1 is equal to minus 13 which further implies minus 2g plus 3f is equal to 12 and minus 2g plus 3f is equal to minus 14. Now let us name it as equation number 3 and this as equation number 4. Now the equation of the line through 1, 1 and perpendicular to 2x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 is by point slope form it will be y minus y1 which is 1 here is equal to m into x minus x1 which is 1 the whole now slope of this line is 2 by 3 so here the slope of any line perpendicular to this line will be equal to minus 3 by 2 that is here m is equal to minus 3 by 2 which implies y minus 1 is equal to minus 3 by 2 into x minus 1 the whole. Which implies 2y minus 2 is equal to minus 3x plus 3 which further gives 3x plus 2y is equal to 5. Now let us name it as equation number 5. Now this is the equation of the line through the point 1, 1 and perpendicular to this tangent. That means this line will pass through the center. So now the center whose coordinates are given by minus 2 minus f lies on the line which is given by equation number 5. Therefore, substituting x is equal to minus g and y is equal to minus f here, we have minus 3g minus 2f is equal to 5. And let us name it as equation number 6. Now this is the equation number 3. And this is the equation number 6. So solving 
equation number 3 and 6, we get minus 2g plus 3f is equal to 12 and minus 3g minus 2f is equal to 5. Now multiplying this equation with 2 and multiplying this equation with 3, this implies minus 4g plus 6f is equal to 24 and minus 9g minus 6f is equal to 15. Now adding these two equations, we get minus 13g, these terms will be cancelled, is equal to 39, which implies g is equal to minus 3. Now, putting g is equal to minus 3, in equation number 3, we get minus 3 into minus 3 plus 3f is equal to 12, which implies 6 plus 3f is equal to 12, which gives 3f is equal to 6, and which further gives f is equal to 2. So we get g is equal to minus 3 and f is equal to 2. Now we have, if the circle is passing to the point 1, 1, then 2g plus 2f plus c is equal to minus 2. So let us name this equation as a. Now putting g is equal to minus 3 and f is equal to 2 in a, we get 2 into minus 3 plus 2 into 2 plus c is equal to minus 2, which implies minus 6 plus 4 plus c is equal to minus 2, which further gives minus 2 plus c is equal to minus 2, which implies c is equal to 0. Now this is the equation number 1. So putting g is equal to minus 3, f is equal to 2, and c is equal to 0, in 1, we get x square plus y square plus 2 into minus 3 into x plus 2 into 2 into y plus 0 is equal to 0, which implies x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y is equal to 0. Now this is the equation number 4 and this is the equation number 6. Now solving equation number 4 and 6 we get minus 2g plus 3f is equal to minus 14 and minus 3g minus 2f is equal to 5. Now multiplying this with 2 and this with 3, this implies minus 4g plus 6f is equal to minus 28 and minus 9g minus 6f is equal to 15. Now adding these two equations, we get minus 13g and these terms will be cancelled with each other is equal to minus 13, which implies g is equal to 1. Now putting g is equal to 1 in equation number 4, which is this equation, we get f is equal to minus 4. Now putting g is equal to 1, f is equal to minus 4 in 2g plus 2f plus c is equal to minus 2, we get 2 plus 
into minus 4 plus c is equal to minus 2, which implies 2 minus h plus c is equal to minus 2, which further implies c is equal to minus 2 plus 6, which is equal to 4. Now again, putting g is equal to 1, f is equal to minus 4, and c is equal to 4. In 1, we get x square plus y square plus 2 into 1 into x plus 2 into minus 4 into y plus 4 is equal to 0. Which implies x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y plus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, the required equations of the circles are x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y is equal to 0 and x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y plus 4 is equal to 0. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.